What's up, guys? James R. Teen back here, and um, uh, I got requested on my video. Uh, what video was it called? Uh, my ear stretching collection, I guess, of all my stuff. And so someone, um, oops, sorry, someone uh, told me if I could uh, tell how I did everything, like a history, I guess, of everything. Um, is how I got to where I am now, which is, yeah, well, it's not that big, but, I mean, for people that think, um, well, most people don't think, uh, this is, you know, that big, but whatever, because it kind of looks like, you know, normal piercing, but then you can tell that it was slipped through, you know, so, um, so basically what happened was, I was at school, and I just got to thinking, I'm like, well, I don't think I haven't got anything pierced, so I I really want to get something pierced. I've been wanting to get like a lot of things pierced, but um, uh, as people say, modified. But so what I did was um, I asked my mom if I could get it done, and knowing my mom, I figured she'd say no. She's usually open-minded about me doing things, but um, oops. but I didn't think she would let me, you know, do that. But um. So I did, and uh, I uh, asked her. She said, "Yeah." So I got it done at a piercing shop, and uh, you know, it came with like cleaning supplies and everything. It was just a regular post earring, which I have showed you in uh, my last video. But I'll show you once more. So I got pierced at an 18 gauge. This is really small. So that's what I was pierced at. Whoops. That's what I was pierced at. And, um, you know, I was like, fine, whatever. It's great. And so I was told to wait a month before I put in my um, actual earrings. And these are what I was going to put in. I was going to put in these. Now I bought a set of them from, like, Hot Topic or whatever. Bought a set of these uh, spike barbells. See if it'll focus there. So that's what they are. You unscrew the top, slide them through, screw it back. And that's about it. So I did put them in a week early, which I shouldn't have done. I should have waited at least two weeks, just a week to recover after the month. So basically, after a month, you can put in different earrings, you know, regular earrings, um, so I put in this, this, so I was at 18 gauge, and then I put in the 16 gauge, which, was, it was fine the first day or two, third day, it got, um, infected, it was, it was pretty bad, you know, it was really fat, it was hot, it was, um, uh, outside the, outside my earlobe, like, it was, um, like all crusty and white and everything, and then it was burning a lot. I had to wash it constantly every day. Um, it's just not very good. So I, after about a week of it being infected, it started. Or I just took my earrings out. I'm like, screw this. I'm not gonna deal with the this anymore. Took them out, and I got it back a week. Or like. My ears were back to normal about a week later. I put them back in. I actually had to like re pierce it with. Uh, I, I just re pierced it with this. And don't do that. Well, they were basically. They were barely sealed. I could still stick it through, but I just had to do a little bit more piercing on that. And so I got them through. They were fine after that, all the way to 6 gauge, which. or 4 gauge, um, right now. So, yeah. So, also. Uh, I got to a 16 gauge, which was that barbell, and then went 14, waited about 2-3 weeks, you should wait longer on stretches, here's another 16, paper, um, well these are 14 actually, sorry, 14 gauge, so then after that I... It's something you should not do. Also, learn from my mistakes. Um, there's nothing. I my ears are fine when I did it, but doesn't mean it won't for you. So I uh, got 
like, after I got my ears done, I got to 16 and 14. I skipped 12. Do not skip. Um, yeah, just don't skip because, you know, you're going to a much larger size. And then I got to a 10. Which, you know, are a little bigger. These are titanium, which they're already chipping away. Piece of crap. You can tell. And then here's, these are the curl tapers I use. Don't use it for the... Oh, actually, no, these aren't. These are surgical, surgical steel, sorry. Um, you can kind of tell when you drop them. And, but, and, uh, so then I went to an 8 gauge. I did spirals. People say, now, don't use spirals for stretching. And I really don't see a difference between spirals and, uh, pinchers. It's like the same thing. You know, you slide them through. And you slide them through. Same thing with pinchers, you know. It's like this, you know, you slide it through. So I don't, I don't see a really complete difference with that. And then, so, these are, don't use acrylic either. Here's our acrylic uh, tapers that I use. Not knowing that they're acrylic after I stretch them. But you can kind of tell if I drop them. See, that's not like plastic. And then if I drop these titanium ones. And if I drop these. But, um, yeah. So then I was wearing these from, from 8 gauge to 6 gauge. I waited about a week. Bad. Don't do that. Um, my ears accepted it, you know, they got through, no infections, no swelling, um, you know, there's always a little swelling when you're doing it, but really fast. And here are the plugs I used for 6-gauge. Six, six so then I waited about 4 um, months, or months, weeks, to try to go to a 4-gauge. Did not work out very well. It started bleeding out the back. My ears were really swelled. I got them through, but the pain was so bad. I took them out. It was right when they started hurting really bad and bleeding. Put my uh, tunnels through and left it at that. And that's where I am now. Uh, they were hurting really bad. And it was just not very good that I, I needed to wait longer. Um, after each stretch, you should wait about... Uh, Sorry, I have so much stuff in here. You should be waiting about um, a month after each piercing. Once you get to about, once you want to do two gauge, you should start waiting about two, three months. And same with zero gauge. Here are the, t these are the four gauge that I was trying to get in and failed. So that's basically my... Well, I'm wait, right now, I'm going to wait to go to a four. I'm going to wait about um, a month from today. Hopefully, I don't be stupid and, um, you know, put them through early again. Because I'm pretty sure I'll do it and then regret it. I, these are what I'm going to use. I'm going to use these to stretch this time so I can leave them in. These are pretty cool. They're glow-in-the-dark glass. I know people don't like body rage jewelry, but it's pretty cheap uh, for what you get. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait hopefully longer, get them through, and just leave them there without trying to get the plug in since they're spirals like these. So I showed you guys yesterday. I put them in. I'm not even, I'm not a complete fan of spirals, how they look in my ears like this, but... I like how they look. I like how they look, but not completely on me. I really don't care, though. Uh, so I'll take it out for you. And my videos have to be 10 minutes, which is really annoying. I would like to do longer videos. But, yeah, there's... That's how, you know, big it is. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, feel free to you know give it a like and comment, message me about anything. So thank you guys for watching.